we had seen how to access the live url for the application by clicking on this live button and clicking on the pop-up option that is learning web app when we click on this we had seen it was used to open a new browser window like this and access the page this is possible because we are launching this from visual builder application page itself now what if we share this with someone who is not logged into visual builder cloud application like suppose you are logging into some e-commerce site for shopping it will ask for a username password but it will allow you to access this catalog and all to see what and all items are listed now let's see if similar option is available in oracle visual builder as well now let me copy this url from here i'm copying this and clicking on this new in private window i'm using microsoft's edge browser over here i'm pasting it over here clicking on enter as you can see it is not allowing me to access this url it is asking for username and password even before allowing me to look at what things are available in that web page let us now see how we can allow anonymous users to access our web applications or the web pages built with vbcs let me minimize this go to our application so let me open this 1.0.0 which we created in our previous class so if you click on this learning web app that is the main web application in our designer you will get bunch of options over here we need to go to settings under settings you have to go to security so here there is a section by name access if you see by default the web app uses oracle's cloud authentication that is idcs which we had seen our idcs was restricting us to access this web page you can require that all of your users authenticate allow a combination of authenticated and anonymous users or allow all users to access without authenticating first now i will click on this allow anonymous access there is an option to enable implicit grant for service connection as well and under embedding currently the web app which we develop it won't allow us to embed our web page in any other application or again a web page like suppose we want to embed a google maps in our vbcs application we can do because google has enabled it to embed google maps in any application so this we cannot do with this settings if we select allow embedding in any application domain then only we will be able to embed our application in any other web page if we select allow embedding in specified domain we need to specify what is the domain we need to provide the host details over here then only we will be able to embed that so we'll look at this case in some other class so as of now i'm enabling allow anonymous access so once done just go back to main start and refresh this page as well so that it can save refresh let me go to back to application so we need to stage and publish this application now stage stage with development data now we need to publish in order to get the live app url keep existing data in live yeah i want to replace this with stage data click on publish done now let's access this url it's allowing me to access this url let's now copy this go to in private window paste it over here click on enter yeah even from private window it is allowing me to access the web page like this we can allow anonymous users to access the web page what we built with visual builder